hello 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 welcome back to my channel welcome to all my new subscribers thank you for tuning in today i greatly appreciate it don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell down below so that you will not miss an upload of any video so let's jump into what this video is about this is a little different video what i am doing is sharing with you my most favorite fabrics in front of my stash that I'm a little timid about <laughs> cutting into them. I thought this would be a kind of an interesting, fun video to share. Um, if you have fabrics like that, let me know. Leave a comment down below. But I thought it would be fun to come in and share some of my fabrics that I'm just, I'm, I want to cut into them, but I'm just kind of like, Ugh, you know, just, you know, that feeling. And so, and a few of these I have or one of these I have the um, an idea of what I want to use it for so um, let's jump right into it and so let me say if you like this video make sure you give me a thumbs up but in the comments below or maybe through the thumbs up I can tell if you like this video I will do and you're interested I will do a stash video where I share the fabrics in my stash I don't have a huge stash let me pop up a picture right here is not very large at all at least compared to what I've seen with others so it wouldn't necessarily take me hopefully that long to go through but I can break it down um, by wovens and knits um, and I'll share that let me know if you would like to see that video let me know but these are just fabrics that most of it I keep hanging in a closet so <laughs> because they cost a little bit more or they're just a little bit more precious to me and I'm just waiting for um, the right occasion to use them for so let me jump into what I have so you know how you watch a lot of youtubers and you watch the fabric hauls fabric stash videos and um, and there are some great ones out there and you know that they tend to like certain prints or whatever like that one one print I do love I don't think I've talked about a lot here um, on my channel is I love um, horse print and so this is from, um, this is a, a rayon crepe. I got this from Fabric Mart a long time ago. I want to say la early, mid last year, mid 2017. And I actually want to make the, um, the um, itch to stitch Anza jumpsuit. And I'll pop up a picture here here with it that's why I bought this fabric because I thought oh that would be perfect for that I just haven't cut into it yet I'm just so nervous but this is how this is what it looks like and this is actually on the wrong side because you guys know I always fold my fabric on the um wrong side out so it's easy for me just to lay out and get cutting but this is how it looks on the right side so it's definitely darker isn't that nice I love horses I love 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 horses and so that is why I bought this <laughs> and it was on sale again this is last year so they don't have this anymore but probably any of these fabrics I'm showing you uh, the places where I got them from may not have them anymore except for maybe one or two but yeah that is what that is for and I have a lot of that so it's more than enough for the dress I think I said jumpsuit but it's the dress I want to make and um, and maybe something left over to make a Springfield top probably perhaps um, the next one also from Fabric Mart this is a silky and I have my swatch book here and um, I don't know what I couldn't find it right away so I didn't want to spend a lot of time looking for it but anyway it is a silkiest thicker and I saw it it was one of those on sale at Fabric Mart and just beautiful beautiful not this is not something I will wear over my entire body I'm thinking this is going to be a skirt that's what I'm thinking or a top but nothing that covers my entire body because the um, this feel like a a silk polyester of some sort because I feel like this will be very hot to wear over the, my whole body but wearing it as a skirt or maybe just as a top and I don't know how many yards I got of it I know this I got the swatch somewhere I just couldn't find it but yeah that is one don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with it this one 
is I bought from Sass Fabrics in Arizona. And if you follow me last year on Instagram, you know I did a haul on my um, on Instagram for this. And I showed this last year. And none of the fabrics at Sass was, I want to say, over $6 a yard. I can't remember. I know I just went crazy when I went there. I think I spent like 200 and some dollars. But anyway, this is one of the fabrics I picked up. A very nice, look at that. So, so pretty. And again, because I do fold my fabric the way I do, you can't really see. Look at that. And so when I showed this last year, I particularly remember Elizabeth from Elizabeth made this, and I can't remember who else it was, said make a bomber jacket. And I was like, I don't, I don't wear bom bomber jackets, or at least I didn't think I would. But then I got... Um, did I pick up a bomber jacket pattern? Or I'm getting one something. Um, I can't remember. But I was like, that will make a perfect bomber jacket. <laughs> so that's what this will be. Love this. And this is, it's thick. It's perfect jack weight, jacket weight. But so, so, but that will be so cute. I, and I will, it will get a lot of wear. It's one of those that, you know, nice weekend jacket or in the evenings if it, you know, when it's cool or something, easy to throw on. This I bought from Lilu Designs. I know she does not have this um, anymore. This is an African print. My initial intent was to make the Bible tunic, one of the, the tunics from the tunic Bible, I should say. And um, very cute print. But I decided I might not do that. I keep going on the fence and I have six yards of this. So I was able to put this on the bolt. And um, so yeah, I'm just kind of, I just want to cut into it for the right thing. Um, back to my horses. So this is a um, rayon challey that I got. I know this is a challey from Fabric Mart. And I got this last year. They do not have this anymore. But if you can tell, horses. And love this. And I actually wanted to make a shift dress out of this. Um, but this print all over my body, I don't think I would like this print all over my body as a dress. Um, or at least not a shift dress, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. So I don't, you know, because I love horses so much and I love this fabric, I didn't want to cut into it just yet if I wasn't sure so on the boat it stays until I figure out what I want to do with it the perfect thing I want to um, use it for this I also got from um, Sass Fabrics in Arizona um, this is so cute these are pomegranates I'm gonna call whatever I make which will be a dress more than likely is gonna be called my pomegranate dress Look at that. And this is a cotton sateen. Yes, this is, I believe this was a cotton sateen because it does have a little bit of stretch in it. No, this is a, no, this is Robert Kaufman. This is a Robert Kaufman um, screen print. See there, it says Robert Kaufman screen print. Um, so, no, this is not a cotton sateen. It's a cotton, um, an apparel cotton for sure, but I want it to be a dress, but I'm waiting for the dress I want to make it out of. I don't know. I'm not sure. We shall see. We shall see. So, that is what I have on the bolt, and then I have these ones on my hanger. So... <laughs> This first one I'll show, you guys saw this from my anniversary collection. I was supposed to make that one Vogue dress, but this is the, and again, it's on, it's folded on the, um, shown on the wrong side here. I think you guys saw that. Remember I shared that print? Yeah. This is a 100% viscose, and it's an island tropical print, um, rayon poplin kelly green. So, yes. And this was $13 a yard and I have three and a half yards so this was a little bit more expensive and I want to use it for the right thing this will probably wait in my closet until next summer um, and we'll see what I'll make out of that now believe it or not I have this in this stash but it is so nice this is I don't know this is a 
This is one I found at the Goodwill last summer. And it is a nice drapey, I don't know what this feels like. A, a, a It's a polyester, but it's really nice. It is really nice and soft. And this is a navy blue and very blush pink dots all over it. Don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's so pretty. I find it very precious. And, um, yeah, not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. I don't even know how many yards. I think this was like two yards of, of this here. And then this is from um, Akram's, from Akram's Ideas. We did the pattern, KB pattern swap, and she got me that um, by Hand London. It's actually sitting right here. The Anna dress. And the fabric, and I got another pattern. But she sent this um, fabric, and it is so nice. I don't know what I want to do with it, but I find it, again, another precious fabric. Um, and I just want to wait and see what I want to use for that. And so we shall see. I want to say this was like three yards, so I definitely don't want to just make anything out of it. Um, I can definitely see it being a dress or top. I don't know that I would do a skirt. We shall see. I don't know. All right, this I won't show because it is hard to fold this thing back up, but you guys saw this. This is the silk that I was supposed to use to make my caftan for my, for my uh, dress for my anniversary collection and decided to wait. So I am going to wait. Um, this here deserves a very simple pattern. Very, very simple. Nothing that's going to cut the design off, but I want to find the right simple pattern for it to really show off and showcase the um, the lady, the ladies on the front of it. So very nice, yes, 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 yes. And that was, I wanna say $13 a yard. Um, I found this at Sass Fabrics as well. Now this I took to had taken to the cleaners um, just to make sure it was all good, but this is a brocade. I was not putting this in the washing machine. But look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is so pretty. And I do remember this was only $5 a yard. And see, look at all that fraying at the bottom. So that's why I sent it to the cleaner. Took it to the cleaners. But this is the inside. This is the wrong side. Isn't that gorgeous? And then this is the right side. Right side, wrong side. Isn't that gorgeous? $5 a yard. And I got... I want to say three or four yards of this because I thought it was so pretty. Look at that. And I was going to use it that one year, the year I got it, I was, gonna, I was thinking, oh, I'll use it for the, um, it was the red dress. I forgot, Renata had did the red dress, little red dress project, I think it was called. And then I was like, oh, no, this is, <laughs> no, 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 no. We're going to find something very special to make this out of. I don't know. Yeah, so it's still, you know, got it from the cleaners, and it's just still hanging in my closet. The last two um, is also from where I got the 100% viscose, that green, um, from So Much Fabric. If I didn't say that before, that other fabric came from her. This is a ivory dark navy walnut stretch cotton peak, P-I-Q-U-E. And at the time I bought this, I bought this back in February of 2017. It was on sale. It's 97% cotton and 3% spandex. And I got it. It was on sale for $7 a yard. And I got two and three quarter yards. Now, I intended to use this for an event I was supposed to um, be hosting. But I, that event ended up being canceled. And so, and peak. I don't know what peak is. I will look that up. Um, but this is some gorgeous, when I tell you gorgeous, and I don't know if this was 50% off or 60% off, but I want to say the normal price of this is probably closer to almost $15, $16, $17 dollars a yard, but I got it for $7. I remember it was on sale, and I'm looking at the card, but look at this. You see that texture in there? Isn't that gorgeous? Now, this would make a beautiful dress. What dress? I don't know. I don't know. 
that's why it's still hanging but this is just gorgeous and this is 58 inches wide but look at that gorgeous absolutely gorgeous again that's from so much fabric that's long gone like I said most of these I can't link to they're probably gone already or yeah um and then this I also got from so much fabric now this was going to be for the same event and it was going to be like you know I think it was the a special occasion night part of the event for that same event I was just talking about that got canceled and so I went all out <laughs> <laughs> and this is a red, red wool. And when I say wool, it's not itchy wool at all. It's actually quite thin. Um, tri tri -coating? Tri T R I C O T I N E, if I'm looking at the spelling correctly. Um, 60 inches wide, 100% wool. This was $25 a yard. I think this is the most I've ever spent on any fabric. And I got two and three quarter yards. Look at that. And I was most certainly not using this for, <laughs> for any challenges. This is something that will be saved for something really special. I actually can see some really sharp pants out of this. Really sharp pants. Um, or a dress for sure. Pants or a dress for this. But you can't really see it all. You know, if I hold it back, you can see it. It looks like it's coming off more orange, but it's a it's a deep red. It's de it's a deep red. You can't really tell. But um, yes. So this is these are my prize fabrics again from so much fabric. She would not have this again. Um, doesn't have this now because, like I said, this was February. 2017 I bought both of these from her um so yeah and I had them dry cleaned and they are hanging up beautifully so one day I will use them I'm waiting for something some kind of inspiration something to hit me that say you know what that's the perfect fabric for that particular project so again if you would like for me to share with you my fabric stash I will I'll break it up in a couple videos and run those during the week as opposed to just spreading them out once Sunday um, every week I will share my fabric stash with you let me know down below let me know what you think of the fabrics that I have um, <laughs> shown you today do you, what you think about if you had any ideas for what I can do with them but you know what I don't necessarily, I'm not necessarily looking for ideas. It's just, it'll, when I see the pattern or inspiration, then it'll, it'll hit me. But until then, other than the couple that I know, I probably know what I'm going to do with them. They'll stay right where they are. So, <laughs> all right, everybody. Thank you again for tuning in. Uh, tune in next week. Not sure what I have coming up because I have pre-recorded some of these and they are kind of staggered in different ways. So, all right, everybody. Thank you again so much for tuning in. And yeah, this wasn't too long of a video. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. I appreciate you tuning in and we will see you next week. Bye.